Bruh, I know I'm a couple days late. I was trying to wait it out because I actually thought it was going to die down. But it didn't die down. This is only getting bigger and bigger. Pause. <laughs> My favorite comedian, Cat Williams. If y'all been watching me, y'all know my, my two favorite comedians are Cat Williams and Mike Gilps. <sighs> this is why. This is why Cat Williams is in my top two. Now, I love Dave Chappelle too, but like my just my personal favorites, Mike Gilps, Cat Williams. Cat Williams is just too real. He been real the whole time. Ever since I found out about Cat Williams and first watched him on his stand-ups, on all the movies, you could just tell Cat Williams is a genuine-ass nigga. He don't do no lying. He don't care who he made mad. This interview done broke the internet. It done broke the internet. Literally broke the internet. Cat Williams who came on here exposed everybody. Everybody. And bro... I didn't watch the whole interview. I didn't watch the whole interview because it's like almost three hours long. I did watch uh, some clips though. I did watch some clips. Uh, and this is like one of the main ones that everybody's talking about. I want to discuss some of this with y'all, bro. I want to discuss some of this with y'all. Let's get it, man. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them, the, every, all, all not lies Jakes. will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. And the, the truth is the light. You can tell he, he really spiritual. Look at this chain. I don't know if y'all notice his chain. His chain is symbolism. It's, bro, trust me. Look it up. It got the words woke, and it got, oh, I can't even remember what the other part say. Cat Wiz is a very smart dude, man. It took a lot of people to, uh, uh, to, to see this interview to realize how intelligent this nigga is. But, but listen to what he said. He said, all niggas, all, he say, everybody going to get exposed in 2024. Everybody. Remind y'all, nobody responded. Nobody responded. Nobody. Nobody has yet to show no receipts of nothing that Cat Williams said. They'll just say something out the way and try to act like they don't know what's going on. Ludacris made a song. That's not responding, Ludacris. We need receipts, nigga. Hold up, man. Why they take it the wrong way? The truth is the light. Facts. I need have no one of these. Amen, yet. amen. Gee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I kind of <clears throat> get on here. Right. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord. Really kind of know where to go. Let me one more time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. We good now? Because the people want to know well, why would he get blackballed? Yeah, oh, because I was ask because you that. because in thirty years I've done nothing but collect information, oh Lord. knowledge, oh, and your secrets. So if you and a man was in a corner doing something you wasn't supposed to be doing, you would tell it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, whoa. somebody come to tell me. Okay. I gather that, I value that, I'll pay for that. Come, tell me. I know so many things I shouldn't know and they all know it. See, see bro, see that's what I'm talking about. This nigga Cat Williams, he know, a lot, he, like you just said, I know a lot of stuff I shouldn't know. And he said, they know, I know it. And once again, nobody really responded to this nigga. Nobody. Bro, you can, bro. I'm going to just say this, bro. When you a real nigga and you genuine 24-7, all the genuine and real people go understand. You ain't got, you really ain't even got to show no proof. 
You can just tell when somebody's telling the truth. You can tell, bro. You can hear it in their voice, the conviction in their voice. You know when a nigga is telling the truth, bro. Y'all know what I'm y'all know what I'm trying to say, bro. Real talk. Cat Williams telling the truth, bro. They all know it. Why? Because you don't make me the villain. Not the guy that raises black children and ain't never done a hard drug in his life and don't mm. have no stories of doing nobody dirty. Mm. And, and they'll just go out and they'll lie. The, the industry doesn't mess with Cat because he didn't show up for the studio. No studios have ever said that. Look at my IMDb. It will show you that no studio has ever lost money with me on the script. How? If I'm, on, if I'm not mistaken... Cat Williams sell out every show. And I think Cat Williams tour more than anybody. As far as comedians anyway. I, re I, like, I really think this nigga tour more than anybody. And I think he and I think he independent, if I'm not mistaken. Meaning Cat Williams pay for everybody, everybody that travel with him, all the other comedians he put on, like he paid for it himself. He funds himself, if I'm not mistaken. He on the script. How? That's why I'm saying, that's why I can't let Ricky Smiley say he was supposed to play Money Mike. Because I wrote the words for Money Mike. I designed the hair for Money Mike. I collaborated with the wardrobe department and made outfits to make sure that no one in America would be wearing what Money Mike was wearing. Mm. I told him to go get the Prowler. I then told him to paint it purple. I told him don't have <laughs> an actor at playing a pimp. We could get an actual pimp Archbishop Magic Don Juan to play. That's like, a fact. I, I did far Far too much work for somebody to come years later and try to tag along just for their own self-aggrandizement. Mm. Why didn't Cube set the record straight? Terry Crews could have set the record straight. That's Mike Epps could have set the record straight. Why none of them set the record straight? That's what you were supposed to ask him when he told you those lies that but no one's ever heard. Lie. Right, but he's telling you something no one's ever heard of. Nobody has ever heard. Oh, Matt Aff Ben Affleck and Matt Damon was in a movie, and somebody said, y'all should switch roles. And, like, this is a business. But that's the thing, Kat. <laughs> Normally, when people are giving you information, I'm thinking I'm hearing it for the first time, and right. they're giving information no one else knows or has ever heard. So I'm taking them at face value. These right, are right. like, this is like Steve Harvey telling people he used to be homeless. That's my story. That's not his story. Steve Harvey wasn't never homeless. When he, Mark Curry was touring. Whoa, 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 that, whoa. That kind of hurt right there. I, uh, I rock with Steve Harvey heavy. Like, uh, far as like Steve Harvey, like his motivational uh, videos. I don't know if y'all ever watched them. They, they really a change your life. Uh, but now Cat Williams saying Steve Harvey wasn't even homeless for real. Whoa. Harvey wasn't never homeless. When he, Mark Curry was touring with him 25 years ago, he was making $3,000 a show in cash and mm. doing five shows a week. They, they just tell the stories. This, my, thanks to my wife, I'm where I am. You said that about the first wife. You forget <laughs> that? You told us it was her. Then you went and married somebody else that think like a man. Like, oh. what are you talking about? They just, they think they can rewrite history. A uh, uh, guy, Tory did a beautiful special about the comedy store and Fat Tuesday, where he said that Steve and Cedric and Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish came through there and made all lies. Steve and Cedric never performed at the comedy store at all. Oh, Tiffany was so. only seen at the Laugh Factory. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold-out Kevin Hart show. There oh. being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy he club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading. No, we've never heard of that before that person. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, hold up, hold up, hold up, gang, hold up. Now that, bro, now that, yo. This nigga, he gotta be telling the truth, right? Cause then Kevin Hart just he just dropped something brand new on Netflix. I was watching it probably like a week ago. Uh, 
It was showing Kevin Hart and Chris Rock and they basically comic upbringing, like how they got to where they at and that two legends can coexist, all that. Like, it's on Netflix right now. This nigga, hold up. And in his first year in L.A., he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading. Mm. No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Oh, Lord. Maybe people don't understand the definition. Yo! So he basically... Yo! <sighs> oh, that... Oh man, that that one kind of hurt though. Cause I, I rock with Kevin Hart too. But Cat Williams is right. Kevin Hart did come out of nowhere. He did spawn out of nowhere, nigga. Where did this nigga come from? Where the hell did Kevin Hart come from? his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading. No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? So he's basically, Maybe people don't understand the definitions sold his soul, of these baby. words. Kevin Hart he just sold his did soul. his documentary with Chris Rock where no. he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yeah. Yo, yo, that's what I was just talking about. That's what I was just talking about. It's on Netflix right now. What the fuck? This nigga really is supposed to... He just did his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. That's yeah, a fact. So how That's a fact. simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? It did happen. It didn't happen. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual oh. for picking apart lies, but Jussie Smollett going to keep lying until you say we don't believe you. Bingo. Like it's important in the checks and balances of the universe that liars not get to make complete narratives for themselves. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. What do you mean you, again? You, you can't blackball, can These we? people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. <laughs> this nigga spitting, hold up! Hold up! This is, bro, see, right there, right there. That's, that's right, right there, bro. That is why I feel like everybody should look up to Cat Williams, even though he's short as shit. Cat Williams, little as hell. I'm talking little. <laughs> but look, that is, that is why I respect this man right here so much, bro. Pete, what he said? He said these people are not powerful for real. Shannon said, are you scared to get blackballed again? Cat Williams responded. Look at, bro, look at how carefully he think about everything before he answered. He said, these people are not powerful for real. Satan can't create nothing that's for God's people. Man, listen, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. That liars not get to make complete narratives for themselves. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. What powerful. do you mean again? These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. Man, that includes that blessings for his people. Ooh. That's why, you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? What? Is to act like it didn't happen. They all do the same job. Why do you think Gary Owen can't cross over and he already white and been in comedy for 25 years? If what I say ain't the case. Oh, Lord. It's a cabal. It's a, it's a consortium. They, they rock with who they rock with and they don't. But we got to protect this man, bro. Protect Cat Williams at all costs. This type of realism right here, nigga, it ain't, it ain't heard of no more. That's why this interview got 40 million views in like five days, five, six days. This is why, bro. 
This is why. Oh, nah. It's a cabal. It's a, it's a consortium. They, they rock with who they rock with, and they don't with who they don't. So they but I'm keep not it. scared of being the competition any more than you were when you lined up uh, uh, across from a superior team. Yeah, on paper, they're a better team. Right. They have all the assets and resources, and we don't. Mm. But let us get on the line, boy, boy, and see if that factors in. I, I guarantee you it won't. Wow. Because Shannon Sharp got to be. <sighs> that boy, W analogy, though. W analogy, though. He said, hey, when it come down to a nigga, I'm going to war with you. I don't care what resources you got, how, how much you prepare, none of that. I'm standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with you, all 10, nigga. But let us get on the line, boy, boy, and see if that factors in. I, I guarantee you it won't. Wow. Because Shannon Sharp got to be a different person than that other person. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And he always was. That doesn't change when I change teams. That remains the same. Mm -hmm. That's how a legacy is built. So all of these shortcut takers. I, no I shortcut. Was, they nigga. canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out. But he offered to suck my penis in front of whoa, whoa, all hey, my people. Yo, hey, yo, yo, hey. Hey, he what, nigga? What'd he say? Oh, my nigga. What'd this nigga say? He did what? Even before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my penis in front of all. Everybody want me to watch this interview. Come on, man. Ain't no way this nigga just said that. There's no way. Talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my penis in front of all my people at my agency. What? What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they did to get that? <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> <laughs> and this is why. Oh, snap. Yo, what is going on? What is going on right now? I, when I walk in a room, heads go down. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian that's bitter and what jealous. The? No. But in my face. No. 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 Oh yeah, that did. Hey, that yo. This is why they scared of this nigga. This is why they try to blackball Cat Williams. Cat Williams, hey, Cat Williams got something to stand for, nigga. Facts. He got something to stand for. He ain't say. Oh yeah, see man, I'm telling you, this is why. This is why nobody, man. I'm telling you, bro. Jealous, but in my face, no, no, no. The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I've not taken the shortcuts. I've not been funded. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They tell you that themselves. I can't do that because I. Uh, Steve told you that he stopped doing stand up because he has seven TV shows. The only problem is when he stopped stand up, he didn't have those seven TV shows. Mm. He stopped stand up because he got in a comedy battle called the Championship of Stand Up Comedy mm. with one Cat Williams in Detroit in front of 10,000 people and lost because Cat Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig. And I went. <laughs> In, and that's why he couldn't do stand up anymore. Hey, if y'all did, hey, real talk. Real, hey, no cap. Hey, if y'all thought that, if y'all thought that perfect ass box goddamn shit Steve Harvey had going on was real, y'all niggas stupid, man. Ain't no way y'all thought that was real. It was too perfect, nigga. Ain't nobody had that perfect. Nobody. and lost because Cat Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig. And I went <laughs> in and that's why he couldn't do stand-up anymore. 
Yo. Imagine him coming to tell you another story where he got so big and it was Bernie and them's fault because they wanted to be movie stars. What? No, nah, I no, 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 no. Hold yeah. on, let me let me say this. It, man, it was man, real talk. Rest in peace, Bernie Mac, man. Go, nigga. Go, nigga. Hey, but listen. I don't really know too much of the the, the ins and outs of it. Like, cause I uh I watch comedy a lot. Like I follow comedy heavy. Uh all I know before Bernie Mac passed and shit, even while he was here, a lot of people hated on Bernie Mac, man. Bernie Mac was one of the most hated by other comedians because he was so loved by the world. Like, if that made sense. Real talk. Cat Weir's in that same boat. Oh, because they wanted to be movie stars. What? <laughs> you called Ocean Eleven to get that nigga's part. Tough. What do you mean you didn't want to be a movie star? So on the behalf of Bernie, I, I would have to say what I have to say. Have, you, have, ever been on, have you ever been on tour with any of these guys? Had to, the, right? I, every guy I mentioned to you is not funny out there in real life. Oh, here we go. So, so you, no. Peep, he said real life. Faison's never done his own tour. Faison is not funny. Well, I don't even know why he even said Faison. Faison never been funny. Faison is not funny at all. 30 years. Steve Harvey don't do stand-up no more. Cedric doesn't write. Cedric I'm sorry, he not doesn't funny. write. Ricky Smiley has been playing the same old black woman forever. Mm. Like, you can't get a young fan base with that. Hey. Like, you gotta be doing karaoke around the country to make that work. Right. And he is. But I'm a stand-up comedian. This is my 19th 100-city tour. Talk. I'm not going to have a conversation with these lazy bums that'll take a shortcut at any point. Yes, it's easier for you to juice than to get in the gym. But you don't get to bring that body in here talking crazy. Talk about how good you look. In other words, you don't get the same benefits I do, nigga, because I work harder, nigga. Facts. I work for mine. I'm really funny. I ain't got to take no shortcuts to the money and fame. I ain't got to do that. I'm going to do mine because I outwork you niggas. Because I'm funnier than you niggas. Basically, that's what he's saying. Easier for you to juice Real than nigga. to get in the gym. Real but nigga. you don't get to bring that body in here talking crazy. Talk about how good you look. What? No, no. There's too many comics out there that are putting their life on the line to tell these jokes, man. Okay, mm. let's get to your upbringing. We're gonna circle back and we'll get some, huh? I wanna protect him real quick, cause you had said for the Kings of Comedy, it was in 2018, 2019, but did you mean 1999? Cause it came out in 2000, so I just wanna make- the no, I didn't, no, no, no. So what I meant to say was, remember, he said, I couldn't do stand up anymore. I had seven TV shows. I said he didn't he have did any album. of those yeah. TV shows at the time. I thought yeah, he was right. about Cedric. Joke stealer from Cedric. Yeah, Cedric. Oh, okay. So you so, had said that okay. 2018, 2019, but it came out in 2000, so I just want to make sure. Okay, no, 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 no. No. What comes out in 2000? The, the original Kings of Comedy. Right. My, I'm on BET's Comic View, and they're using this as the commercial in 1998. Mm. That's why I'm saying, yeah. So, so if I, yeah, yeah. So if I yeah. said the dates oh, wrong, just, yeah, yes. so yes. let's go ahead and clear that up. Okay. You said, Yeah. I had Cedric on here and I asked him about the joke stealing, yeah. and he said the timeline doesn't add up. Correct. To your to to that oh, point, okay, you okay. say bet, bet, bet. Bet, bet. They just trying to they just trying to clear up the whole when Cedric the Entertainer came on the show and he was basically saying he won't joke stealing. And Cat Weir's basically finna expose him, basically. Because Cedric the Entertainer tried to say the dates and the timelines not matching up. How did I, how am I joke stealing? I right, bet, bet. Right. So he thought that I was just a no name comedian and that he could take this joke and nobody would know. Right. Mm. The issue was that I had already done this particular joke on BET's Comic View twice. Right. It had done so well on BET's Comic View that they had made it part of the commercial. 
So part of the commercial of make sure you tune in to BET was you seeing me doing this joke. Right. And this joke is one of those jokes in comedy where you set it up and it takes a little longer to set it up. It takes about three minutes. But then you're just hitting them with jokes after right. that because you don't have to set it up. Right. Uh, Mark Curry had already helped me work on this joke because I thought it was good because I was getting a standing ovation on it. He had me go back in the lab and help me craft it to be an even more powerful joke. So this is not just a random joke. This is my very best joke, <laughs> and it's my last joke, and it's my closing joke. Okay. 1998, <clears throat> I'm doing this joke. It's on Comic View. Cedric comes to the... He said 1998. That's two years prior, right? It came out in 2000 comedy store. He watches me in the audience. He comes backstage. He tells me what a great job I did and how much he loves the joke. Two years later, he's doing that as his last joke mm. on the Kings of Comedy. And he's doing it verbatim. He's just changed my car into a spaceship. Him and Steve had already apologized for me, so I gave him a pass for a decade. Damn. Why would you sit here and be like, I talked to, I saw Cat 30 times <laughs> and Cat didn't do, as I stand before you, Shannon. I would have bust Cedric's <laughs> stomach. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing that would have kept me. <laughs> Yo, hey, hey, man, that's what I'm talking about, bruh. That's a, look at his face. That, that, bro, you know this nigga telling the truth. Look how mad he is, bro. Look how upset he is. Niggas trying to play with him like that. Yes, for a decade. Why would you sit here and be like, I talked to, I saw Cat 30 times. <laughs> and Cat didn't do, as I stand before you, <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> I would have bust Cedric's stomach. <laughs> There was nothing that would have kept me from one of these in, in that patch right there. Like, are you kidding me? Why would you downplay me like that? Trying Why did I him. give you a pass if you were just gonna lie? And so that's what I'm saying. Like, they're all a group. Cedric, Steve, Ricky, they've been a group. Everybody knows that. They've been aligned. And, and there are these alliances in comedy. And if you stand against them, then they sometimes have a problem, but... We don't let that change the content because that's all you know me for is that I'm quite likely to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. That's so a fact. Me God. Now, I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Mm. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, here we go, bro. Here we go. Ah. See, now I think he's speaking on people saying he was going broke or he is broke. He just said, I, I turned down 50 million four times just to keep my integ integrity. Come on, bro. <laughs> hey, Hollywood gets spooky, man. Real talk. Hollywood gets spooky, man. Because P. Diddy be wanting the body. And you got to tell him no. Oh, you got to tell him no. I, I did. No! I did. See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, I'm I, so I can, freely. Can, 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 I need, can I need no one? You here. Get Man, hey, it's no, it's no, hey, it's no way. It's no way there's many people lying about Diddy, bro. It's no way. It's no way. Man, bro. Oh, my God. This nigga said Diddy be wanting to party, but you got to tell him no. Hey, hey, look at his face, though. Look at his face. Look at his face. Down $50 million four times. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to party. And you got to tell him no. <laughs> you got to tell him no. I, I did. Yo. I did. See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, I'm, I'm so can, freely. Can, can, I need, can I need another one? You, here, get you another one. Thank you, two, sir. Can. Thank you. Come on. Because early on, you was accusing me of being... Cat, man. 
Okay. Yeah, it's crazy. Boy. Because I'm favored by God. Like, when I see people's wives and stuff, I don't even look at them. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't want to look at nothing I don't want to have. Because I, I know how blessed I am. If I look at it, I got it. Yeah. Mm. That's how Diddy be feeling. Now, come on, man. Come. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey. you're not supposed to look at anything that you don't want. Not me personally, just because God has given me literally everything I ever even pump faked like I want. Damn. And, uh, that's the whole thing. Mm. That's, that's the whole thing. Oh, that's deep. I don't. I don't have a type of woman. Every woman that I ever had as a type, I ended up getting her. Now she's not the type anymore. Now I understand that every woman is a one of one. Like mm. you can't really have types. Yo. Mm. Mm -hmm. That, bro. That's just, that's wow. That was only 14 minutes of a three-hour interview. I can only imagine how much more stuff Cat Williamson said in this interview, bro. Like I said, I watched probably like the first 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes of it. And I just see every, every platform I get on, I just see everybody talking about it. <sighs> Boy. I heard a little too much in that right there. Like Hollywood gets spooky, man. Hollywood gets spooky, man. Like for you to for you to really be a, a mega star in Hollywood, everybody knows. You gotta sell your soul, and that could be me, that could mean you doing all types of stuff, bro. Rituals, uh going against your integrity. Like, man, I knew Kevin Hart was through when he kissed The Rock. Like, I was like, oh, Lord. Start wearing dresses. R remind y'all. Think about it. At some point in time, most of these comedians don't wear a dress. Think about it. Man, that's crazy, bro. <sighs> I don't know what to say, man. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this Cat Wheels interview. I know I, I didn't watch nowhere near the whole thing. But like I said, I done saw clips all over social media for the past week. And I basically kind of know everything he talked about. Uh, this, right, this clip right here, uh, it was like 80% of that I didn't hear. Uh, like I don't even really know. Man. I low key want to go watch the whole interview. Nah, I ain't going to react to the whole interview, though. I just watch it on my own time. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. I'm gone.